are just a few minutes into the project and the port side is pretty much done for the main part I've got to come over it with a hand scraper no signs of osmosis yet although having said that just if you can see that there just here tiny little bit of osmosis happened things I like about this boat so far one is the pintles for the ruddy here look at the size of them fantastic and uh, very solidly anchored there and I'll show you the, whoop, <laughs> and I'll show you the rudder a little bit later on and you'll see that it's equally as well built as that beautifully engineered so this is one of the earlier boats uh, they probably <laughs> learnt to compromise that later so the rudder assembly itself is also very nicely constructed and um, I'll point out some of the interesting aspects here on the previous one of these that I did up on the Sonata it was a combination of stainless steel and aluminium and there was an enormous amount of electrolysis between the two um, to a point where I had to cut large pieces of aluminium out you might recall seeing that video but this one is made of stainless steel bronze chrome plated bronze and aluminium and there's virtually no electrolysis whatsoever a little bit on the surface just here and maybe some signs under there it'd be interesting to see when I take that off so that's a little aluminium packing piece in there and then bronze stainless steel bolts but no signs on the surface at least of any electrolysis so I'm guessing that this has been hosed down properly after every use and stored in a dry location because combination of stainless steel aluminium and salt and moisture is a sure formula for some pretty powerful chemistry which will just eat the aluminium away um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the tiller more a bit later on but beautiful old piece of eucalyptus really dense and um, the whole thing is very heavily built so um, obviously not too concerned about saving weight for racing more of a cruising type of a configuration but I'm really impressed with the way this is all put together the other component whoops the other component here is the plywood gusset in here and that seems to have held up pretty well as well so I'll poke around and take a closer look a few little splits I'm not sure about the blade of this rudder what I do know is that it's really heavy and it actually forms part of the ballast of the boat so when it's down you've got a weight, lot of weight right down low and well aft so by keeping lots of weight further aft and further down you move the center of gravity in the boat um, well back and down as well below the center of buoyancy so that increases the righting moment of the boat and makes it more stable again another characteristic of a cruising boat on my way down the starboard side as we scrape away the barnacles you can see the line starting to appear underneath and quite sharply almost in a very traditional sense when the keel drops down it actually forms a, a triangle that comes down off here and down not very deep rather than a full swing keel that swings forward it's one of the things that gives you more room in the cabin but it creates a shape which is not unlike a full length keel So on the issue of skin fittings, uh, best avoided really, if you possibly can. Um, I think I'd rather just take a bucket of dishwashing water out and chuck it out over the stern and do away with the skin fitting myself. These things do perish and get quite brittle after a period of time and can often be a source of sinking. Plus trailer sailors don't usually have stopcocks in them. And that means that uh, when you're at sea and you're healing, you can actually take water on through your skin fittings.
Be sure to come back and watch the next video in which I'll take a closer look at the restoration of the rudder and the tiller in particular. And I'm also going to take a rather savage approach to dealing with some rotten plywood in the cockpit floor and show you some pretty good reasons why enclosing wood in fiberglass is never a good idea. She's a solidly built cruiser who's seen better days, but there's plenty of life in her yet. Once finished, we plan to sail her up to the Sundays from my home on the Sunshine Coast of Queensland. If you'd like to follow the project, please subscribe and set the notifications for the channel. I'd also appreciate your ideas and your feedback on how I should go about the various jobs that I'm completing. The list of things to do is quite extensive at this stage, but by ticking them off, one by one, we'll soon be enjoying the beautiful cruising waters of Queensland's east coast. By subscribing, liking and commenting, you're going to help me keep the videos coming.